Hello and welcome back to Arcsoft Gaming. Jazzy Man and I'm playing Splinter. Uh, no, I'm not playing Splinter. What am I thinking? Good thing. I'm playing Amnesia: The Dark Descent. This is episode two, and nothing happened in episode one, basically. So, I read a couple of things. I would like to. I will. And a whole lot of nothing is continuing to happen in this episode. Oh, no. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay. Give me something good. That is something good. I love those things. New favorite thing? Ah, I need to be smart. Angered the spirits. Apparently. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's creepy. Here's the plan. Alright, so good. Now all I know is some unspeakable evil was released. Or was sealed away. And they unleashed it. Where is this stuff? Oh. Look at that. Diaries of Mental. Okay, nice one. Moving on. Something creepy's gonna happen here. Yeah. Great, that thing is sacred. No point here? Alright. That's cool. Now I'm gonna have problems playing piano from now on. Enter that. Okay. I think he's 
in the middle of nowhere or something. Okay, I suppose I'm looking for the one. Kill the cockroaches. Okay, never, never enter room sideways again. I'm gonna speculate now. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Pretty cool. I'm really intrigued with the plot here. So yeah, learned a little bit there. Good. No pressure, under no pressure. I am somewhere there, I guess. Uh, uh, that's a bad note. Definitely 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Mm -hmm. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Yes. Score. Get in. Did I even make any progress, really? Well, not right now. Oh. That wasn't there before. I must escape somehow. It's probably really obvious. I guess that looks steep. Well, what the devil was that then? You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Only 
this room. What do you <laughs> Altstadt and Brandenburg Castle. 1801. Yeah, I'm not gonna do voices. Another region w rich with lores is Altstadt, deeper than the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor castle. Brandenburg is quite forest clad mountain. Trust with Skyrim Lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. I want to figure out what that is. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. I mean, people are buttholes. All of them have their own twists on the tales and there are some motives that keep reappearing. But, oh, crap. Oh, four core. All right. Oop. Continue. Gathers. <coughs> His story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of incense. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any behold. They are called gatherers as they are seen to fall some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them which reveal their presence. Uh, this is terrible. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, Visited Altstadt at the start of the 16th century, he resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for red remnants of the kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glade only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Altstadt, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? Alright, last one. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family in his castle near by Alstadt, and like most of those in noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals that little before the castle was con consumed by fire in the late 16th century, it was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the rules of protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout the soon lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offsprings have never been fully recorded. This has led to the idea that the Baron is, the fact, in fact, the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago. Lived through the time of occupation and joined the coded orders of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of the country. There is a lot of fiction going on with this game. Booyah. Okay, that's faster. Okay. Definitely took that by hand, but whatever. Where am I going? Okay, there's that, there's this, nothing. Someone's watching us just play on these before. It's just that way, you know. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Just gotta push it. 
These books are maybe too heavy. Or I gotta find a worker. and closing of the wine cellar. Will humanist fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels? Ominous. The sheriff is keeping watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty service. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave me. Yeah. Yeah. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some more, and it would be, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Because he's a drunk. Good. Um, okay. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do. Well, well actually, I do know what to do. Thank you for watching, and that is in the episode two. And tune in next time to see what happens. Actually, something happened in this episode. I'm kind of proud of that. Uh, it's kind of a slow start, but I can see I'm thoroughly going to get the crap scare out of me. So, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Please leave comments and suggestions and stuff. If I'm doing a crappy job, let me know. I'll try to be more exciting. But, uh, you know, still warming up for the game. Alright, well, thanks a lot. Watch next time, and have a good day. Goodbye.